I'm happy to have this opportunity to communicate with you during this time of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, it is a time of crisis, but not a time for panic. Uh, we rely on the help of God. We turn to our Blessed Mother. She's always caring for us, her children. She's walking with us by our side, leading us to her son, Jesus. We are very grateful, so deeply grateful for all of the healthcare workers attending to people in their needs, their health needs. We're so grateful for researchers and scientists who are seeking out cures and vaccines. Uh, if we all do our part, we will be able to get through this uh, calmly. So please follow the directions we've been given to stay at home. Do not leave home other than for the most uh, necessary uh, uh, errands you have to run. If we all participate in this way, we'll be able to minimize the number of people who get sick at the same time, and we will not overwhelm our healthcare institutions. Unfortunately, uh, we are not able to keep the Lord's Day holy by everyone coming together in church for Mass on Sunday. This is a precept of the church, how the church calls us to honor the Lord's Day, keep the Sabbath day holy, the third commandment. People are now dispensed from observing the Sabbath in this way. In fact, we are asking people to stay home and to uh, keep the Sabbath holy at home, in ways at home. We thank God for the technology we have today to assist people in doing that. In a sense, this is not new. The church has been through this before in times of plagues and uh, other such pestilence. We're much better off today because we have the technology for people to follow the mass and, and pray and, and more effectively keep the Sabbath holy at home. So I would encourage all of you uh, to do so. If your parish live streams the mass on Sunday with your pastor, please follow that live. And you can go back obviously at times and look at it uh, already recorded, but to do so live, you can hear from your pastor preaching to you, communicating with you and connecting with you, his people. He wants to be close to you, and this is a way you can allow him to do that. There are other televised masses as well, and we have resources for that on our Archdiocesan website. Reflect on the Sunday readings. Pray the rosary together. Keep in mind the rosary is really a biblical prayer. The mysteries of our faith are all from the Bible and the prayers of the rosary are mostly directly from the Gospels. So pray the rosary, especially to pray the rosary together as a family. This is really a time to rediscover the communion that is the family. The church is a communion, it's a communion of faith, a communion of the faithful, a sharing in spiritual and materi material blessings. But that communion is most profoundly and is first and foremost experienced in the family. So take advantage of this time, now that you're all at home, to, to foster the communion of your family. Pay attention to each other, communicate with each other, set aside those, uh, those social media devices for a while, and pay attention to each other, pray together, share a meal together, converse, play a board game together, play cards together, so that you can foster that sense of communion. That is what really brings joy to the human soul, is that sense of communion. So thank you for uh, your fidelity to the church. Thank you for your desire to keep the Lord's Day holy. I ask you all to do this at home in the ways that we have suggested and use your creativity to think of other ways as well. And with the help of God, we will uh, remain healthy so that we can continue uh, to give him glory by uh, serving others, by our prayer, lives of service, and let us ask that he will bless the work of our hands.